Welcome to this video. This video introduces the simplest possible model to run your UMAT for the first time. For this purpose, at first we create a cube in part module. The cube is three-dimensional, deformable, and we use solid extrusion to create it. We create a rectangle by dimensions of one by one and extrude it by dimension one. Now we go to the property module and create a material. For the material, we use general tab and use user material we can choose between UMAT for mechanical analysis or UMAT for heat transfer analysis here we can enter mechanical constants of the material for example we enter here Young modulus and Poisson ratio for an isotropic linear elastic material this constants will be passed to the UMAT code by props variable the number of constant is also passed to the code by n props. We can also set the dimension of the solution dependent variables by going to the general depth bar and entering the number of solution dependent variables. This number will be passed to the UMAT as n state v and please notice that this number should be equal to or more than required state variables in the constitutive equation. If your VUMAT code includes damage evolution and you want to delete some elements, you can use the next option. By this option, you show that which of the solution dependent variable is representative for a state of the element. After defining material, we create a section and assign the section to the part then we enter the part as an instance to the assembly module and in a step module we create a static general step please notice that UMAT code can only be used by Abacus standard solver here we have linear elastic constitutive equation and solving the problem is easy in load module we try to apply the simplest possible deformation to the cube. We apply pure tension to the cube in this simulation, but to show the accuracy of your UMAT subroutine, we should also apply tension in other directions and shear to the cube. We apply symmetric boundary condition to X, Y and Z directions. Finally, we apply movement to X direction. Please notice that we prefer to apply displacement rather than force to the boundary of Q because in this way the problem is simpler and doesn't need to convergence. In the mesh module also, we use the simplest possible element for this cube. We use standard 3D esters and linear with radius integration elements and to prevent our glassing, we can choose one of these options. To simplify the model, we also only use one element to mesh this cube. We enter approximate global size equal to one edge of the cube and mesh the cube. Now the part contains only one linear radius integration element. As the final step in the job module, we introduce the address of the UMAT subroutine. This subroutine is for linear elastic materials and we will explain details of this subroutine in our next video. We can summarize this video as follows. We use the simplest possible model without contact and also use the simplest possible elements and use only one element to mesh the model. After that, we use the simplest possible boundary condition 
and check our UMAT for the first time. The result of this simple UMAT is exactly the same as the material with linear elastic behavior from the Abacus software. Please watch our next video if you are interested in details of the UMAT. I hope this video has helped you out. If so, please let us know by a like, a comment or subscribe. See you in next videos.